So this is video two. So now what we've done is folded the piece work over and it's got to fit on your cutting mat. So you might need to fold it three times. You might even need to do it four, depending on how many strips you've put in. And what you want is to have it sitting absolutely flat so that the seams are sitting on top of each other and give it a really good press so that it's flat. Because particularly where there's any curves in this, any uh, folds in this section, because what we don't want is any banana shaping. So take your time, get that right. And then the fun starts. So what we do then is we start to cut slices. So I've cut some already, well the whole this is cut into slices. Now the widest strip, I would say go no wider than three inches because that gives a very flat piece. But for narrow strips, I would go perhaps no narrower than maybe one and a half. So you could start by, have your big piece, and start to slice from top to bottom some pieces. So maybe start with a one and a half, one and three quarters, two, two and a quarter, two and a half. So you've got a selection of widths. And then it's easier to have something that you can pin this onto. This is very much a visual piece, probably why I like it so much. So a piece of sheeting, anything, and then pin at the top. So what you do is put the first piece on. Then decide, am I going uphill or downhill? And am I going steep or uh, gradual? So I'm gonna go uphill and I've got another piece which is quite narrow as well. And what we do is we move up one block at a time. So either up or down, one whole strip. Now, if you haven't got a, like a design wall like this, just stick a pin at the top. So we've gone up one section, so it's one hell strip. So we can decide now, are we going uphill again or down? And this strip is slightly wider. So I'm just tucking the ends across the top. Now we might decide that's as far up as we want to go. So we're going to come down a strip. So we follow the same principle that we come down one width at a time. Now this is probably the widest one I've got. So I'm going to put this one next. So I'm starting and coming back down again. And I can decide to come down this, because these strips are wider, this slope will be more gradual. And don't forget, there's no seaming included in this at the moment, so this will shrink. And let's do another one coming down. Now, why we've got the wide piece at the top and the bottom, because as we're moving up and down, our bottom is also, and the top is moving up and down. So the finished length will be shorter than we started. So you can start to see we've got some effect. So we've gone from here, so I'm just gonna take a few more strips off there. Now, you don't have to cut the whole thing in one. You could decide to cut it as you're going along. So just cut a few and just keep adding. Now, if you were copying a particular landscape, say from a photograph, you'll know whether it's gonna be more gradual or whether it's mountain peaks, which would need to be closer together.
and you just keep going until you're happy with it. Okay, I'll finish this one off.